When you hear about us reporting uh, things about crime, like robberies, shootings, and carjackings, you may feel afraid for your own safety. But all crime, and we know all crime victims, mm. are not equal. Our investigating injustice series first revealed that black women are the most at risk of becoming a crime victim here in Chicago. Tonight on the News at 10, we'll take you to some of the places that black women visit in the course of a normal day. Grabbing a bite to eat at a restaurant, filling up the car at a gas station, or taking the train to work or to school. You'll hear the stories of brave women who were doing just those things when they were suddenly attacked by strangers. Their firsthand accounts of how becoming a victim shattered them, both emotionally and physically. In fact, one young woman we met who survived an attack last year tragically lost her life this year, just a short time ago in another attack. As we've reported, she was murdered in her garage just last month. CBS2 investigator Dorothy Tucker joining us live now via Zoom. Dorothy, good morning. We're so glad that you're continuing to cover this so closely. What was it like hearing the stories of these women who become targets? They're become cr targets of criminals here in the city. It was almost gut-wrenching because, you know, for me in particular, it's easy to put myself in their shoes, uh, knowing that almost anything you do in life, uh, going through your day because you're a black woman, you. You, you might very well be the, the target of a crime disproportionately. You know, as we have pointed out, black women uh, suffer the most. So to hear them talk about just doing the little daily chores, uh, you know, going to the gas station, uh, getting on the bus and all those things, uh, and, and hearing them talk about their fears and their frustrations and their concerns, it, it, was, uh, it, was, it, was, it was tough to hear some of those stories, but very important to tell their stories, very important to tell their stories, because this is something that people need to know about. This is something that authorities need to, need to hear. This is a problem that needs to be addressed. Mm -hmm. and, and Dorothy, you have a decorated journalism career that spans decades. So when I heard the tease and you said uh, you've never heard a story like this or it struck a chord with you more than any other story, that, that really resounded with me, because I mean, that, that's saying something. Can you share some of the data and, and the alarming numbers you came across? Well, first of all, what struck me, what I've never covered before, I mean, I've covered stories about uh, black women being victims of crime, you know, other people being victims of crime, but I've never covered a story where I interviewed a woman a month or so ago, you know, for one crime. We interviewed this woman because she was a victim of a carjacking. Literally, literally a month later, she was the victim of a murder. You know, that's what's never happened. You know, I've never even been able to get to the story, to tell her story before she was murdered. That was gut wrenching. That was that made me numb. Uh, but when you look at just the raw numbers, and that's what we're going to do tonight at 10 o'clock, and I'll just throw a couple of them out here. 277 women were attacked last year just outside of a grocery store. Uh, 47 black women reported some kind of attack, uh, some kind of incident at a church. More than 700 black women had some kind of battery, some kind of incident at a, at, on the CTA, on the train. You know, those numbers are just unreal. And those are just raw numbers that are just happening to black women every day. And Dorothy, we mentioned that tonight's story is part of a series that you are working on with the team. What can we expect after this? What's next? Well, uh, we will next look at the number of black women who have been victims of domestic violence. Uh, remember, black women make up 16% of the city of Chicago's population. They represent more than 50% of domestic violence victims. You know, we'll take a look at that, and then eventually, you know, we will look at the solutions. We're talking to any and everybody I can, saying, "Have you have you got an idea? Is there something we can do? Is something is something being done somewhere? Is there something the city can do?" You know, we will really try and figure out how to address this problem. Dorothy Tucker and the CBS2 investigators, some staggering numbers. Yeah. Thanks so much for shining a light on this story and giving it, you know, the attention that it deserves. We look forward to your report. Thank you.